That's the theme song. That's our theme song. That, you know, I, I thought you said you watched. I, did, I watched it. I don't remember the theme song like that. Oh and I probably should have practiced a little bit. Should have practiced a little it's bit. Should have practiced a little. It's a famous song. It it's uh, Jumpin' Jump Jack, Jack Flash. Jack Wait, Flash. are you allowed to say it? Yeah. Oh my. You God. are allowed to say it. That we are such idiots. We played the song. Yeah. It's such one day, like one day, it didn't work, and we're like, Facebook was. They didn't let us do it because we took the jump of Jack Flash from the Stones. Right, right. I love Maybe the Stones. We yeah, that's what we saw. They don't. Very cool. Hey guys, well, welcome, welcome to the Brooklyn Show. Uh, I am your host, Jonathan Tager, lovely Angela Muto, and we'd like to welcome our special guest this week, Mr. Malcolm Adams. Malcolm Lewis Adams. That's sorry, much, much I'm more sorry. searchable. You have three names. Is that what it is? <laughs> three names. You're like so wait, You're like you're like Webster. <laughs> like Webster, okay. <laughs> right? You're okay. like a big Webster. Three Didn't names, he have three right? names? Emmanuel Lewis. No, no. he was Lewis too. No, That's it's right. just Emmanuel. No, wait, who? Who has three names? You're thinking of the other black guy. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Let's just clear it up. <laughs> like, hey, like, hey, God, Bermuda, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I was like. But yeah, Malcolm Lewis. Oh, there, there was some fucking, there was some guy that had three names. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah, three, names. three names. So you really go by Malcolm Lewis Adams. Malcolm That's Lewis it. Adams, absolutely. That's it, Malcolm absolutely. Lewis Adams. Who's if, the you Lewis? Look, if you look up Malcolm Adams, it'll be a bunch of Scottish guys drinking. No, oh, yeah. no, Malcolm Lewis Adams. Malcolm Lewis Adams. It's the real estate dude from, I like that. from, from, from I like that. Yeah. So it's MLA. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. MLA. <laughs> I, got, I got a friend who's got, who had a company in LA called MMDLA. Right, and I had nothing. You know to do what it stands for? A million. Wait, MM? <laughs> MD, million dollar listing agent? Multi million dollar listing agent. Oh, that was man. the name of his company. Wow. Dude. I was like, dude, that's That's, that's not really good. obnoxious. That's really I was like, that's really not good. I mean, I, I'll sell. I mean, anyone's yeah. home. If you need to sell, you call yeah. me. Don't call Tiger. What, what is the name of your business? Well, we it's a couple of things. Oh. Uh, we Our brokerage is Century 21 Milestone. Um, minority owned Century business. Century 21. Century 21 milestone. Milestone. I don't get yeah. that though. It's, we're only in the 20th century. All right, right, right. And, oh, uh, and they've been around a long business. time. Yeah, they've we've been, been around, around a long time. time. Yeah, so but 15, 20 them. years, something like that. It's a, they it's a, really anticipated. Yeah, we de definitely have. Well, wait, wait, and, first, before we even get into this, hold yes. on. Oh, okay. let's, let's just, because everyone's like, what are they talking about? All right, first oh. of all, you know, I, I'm obviously a real estate broker. Angela's a real estate broker. And, and Malcolm is a real estate broker as yes, well. Yes, sir. So, um, and Century 21, I'm sure, if you haven't heard of it, then I don't know where you've been <laughs> right. um, for a long time. Do, do they still have their commercials? Well, the real estate, the Century 21 um, commercials are everywhere. We had Super Bowl commercials. We're, you know, yeah. one of the biggest agencies. It's tough. What, was the, century, what was the Super Bowl commercial? Oh, my God, I forget. It was great. It was, the, what do we call the power agents or something like that? I forget. You know, I was, I was, I, I, I was a little occupied at the Super Bowl. At the Super Bowl? Yeah. Where were you for the Super Bowl? I was here in Brooklyn, but we were at a Super Bowl party. Yeah. And uh, I had a couple of drinks, at a, you know, a good time. So it was good. I, yeah. Was did good you time. know there was a Century 21 commercial coming? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You did? <laughs> you were waiting for it? <laughs> no, I wasn't waiting for it. Did you tell everyone to be quiet in the bar? No. Were you like, uh, everyone? No, not in the bar. We were at, we're at a friend's house. At a friend's so, house. okay. So now you're a Brooklyn native, yes, right? Sir. Yes, You're sir. born in Brooklyn? Born in Brooklyn. Born in Bushwick, New York. Born in Bushwick, New yeah, York. Yeah. Wow, man. Back where, where when, did you grow up? That's right. Back you? when, it was on, on Pilling Street. Um, on Pilling Street. Yeah, it was right, right near Bushwick. Yeah. Pilling and Bushwick. Pilling and Bushwick. And I grew up, it was like 40, 50 years ago, back when, you remember The Warriors? Remember that movie? Yeah. The Warriors. They actually filmed The Warriors in my neighborhood because yeah. it was like The Warriors. It was like gang and drugs and everything. But to be quite honest with you, I don't recall, I always, I felt happy. Like it was, it was still a good, you know, you get love at home and you try to avoid the landmines. It was a good, it was good growing up. So you get love at home. Yeah, and love got, by your mom. I just like, you just went from like love at home <laughs> to like the Warriors movie. I know, to, but because because that's how you had to survive. If I had known, yeah. was that, it tough? Like it was there, tough. Were there, it was were really there, tough. Were there bullets flying? It was tough. It was bullet flying. Bullets flying. Yes, yes. There were gangs. Gang. That's why the Warriors. Were was made it the Bloods and the Crips? No, no. I mean, this is fifty years. It's an LA thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So they, they have Bloods and Crips here, but not back then. This was five yeah. percenters and all kinds of other kinds of. Uh, were they Latino gangs or so, black gangs? We had a lot of Latino, a lot of Dominicans, a lot of Puerto Ricans mm -hmm. in the neighborhood, yeah. which ended up being 
best friends. Uh, you know, I had a couple of girlfriends. It was nice. How much were houses back then? So, oh my God, what are we, we talking? Nineteen seventy, right now. It was like 60s, 60s, 60s. You were born in the 60s? I was born in 65, yeah. Get out, yes. sir. Good black don't crack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was gonna say, Good black don't born crack. Born in the 60s? Born in the 60s? 65, 65. Jesus yes, Christ. sir. You're 10 years older than me. I yes, yes, yes. You're senior. You should respect ah, that. Ah, they like that. They like that. They like that. Yeah. Good looking man. Thank you. And I know she has an earring. I have a couple. He has two earrings. Oh, you only have the two, you have, and that's the two that you see. We're not going to get into anything. Oh well. Yeah. Are, are sure? Keep it clean. It's not Keep that it kind clean. of show. Keep it clean. <laughs> His wife Trish is watching. Right. Is Trish watching tonight. She's I hope so. She should. Woman. I hope. She's I hope Trish. Hi Trish. Happy Mother's, Mother's, Mother's Day, baby. I love you. <laughs> so the so now okay so you grew up in Bushwick. Yes, sir. And um, when did you get into real estate? When when did you start your first real estate job? Well, I started, I mean, I've been in real estate about 10 years, you know, but I was an, uh, <coughs> an art director for a women's clothing company, a power company for years, for like 20 some odd years. Yeah, and um, I loved it. I mean, you know, we went from- What does an art director do in, in a I, we and Essentially, you package and sell whatever the product is. And in my case, it was apparel and accessories. So you package and sell it. You know, the you do the art for the packaging, you do the art for the in store, for the online, for whatever is needed to sell the product. So when you say you do that, do you just sit there and you're like, okay, I'm selling this? Like, what were you selling? Well, we have brands. Let's, so let's we were specific. selling Jockey, or I don't know, can I say brands on the show? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, we were selling Jockey and Spalding and Two Exist Men's Underwear, mostly apparel. I'd only I'd only be honored if I got a cease and desist letter. Right? Yeah, How true. cool would that be? I'd be like, I'd be like, dude, I like got I've a arrived. cease and desist letter. <laughs> right. I've arrived. I've arrived. Oh, I've arrived. that's awesome. Yeah, but no, we 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 Sorry. sell brands, so it was mostly apparel. Yeah. So focus in that vein, and I did, you know, my, with along with my business partners, we did a lot of urban brands back in the day too. So we did Mubu? Fubu. Fubu. Yes, I said Mubu. Mubu. I don't know what the hell that Whatever, is. Whatever Fubu. But Fubu, we I did Shark Tank. Cross. Yeah, we did cross. Cross colors and uh, Johnny. Do you Blaine. know that guy? Do you know that guy? Cross the color guy. Yeah, yeah. Jo he was. I was the brand manager for Fubu's women's uh, uh, intimate apparel and active, and he was the boss. So and he was a uh, sweet yeah. Damon John. Like, so you're walking down the street, you see Damon John. Damon would know. You're like Damon. Yeah. You guys kind of look alike. Oh uh, no, right? see, we all look alike. You see <laughs> he's bald, you're bald. <laughs> no. He's bald. David is, uh, but he's a you, sweet. You look, so come on. Not, I mean, yes, you're black, so <laughs> not, you not, might look, not, not look more <laughs> like you know. <laughs> not as <just> time. <laughs> but he's no. He was. Uh, Does he have glasses? He has glasses. Does no, he? no glasses. He doesn't have glasses. No. But he, he was a great, he was a great guy. A lot of inspiration. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy, actually. Really, because, you know, yeah. especially back then, that's 20 some odd years ago, there wasn't a lot of people that looked like us that were successful in, in any business like that in the power. And he was running it. It was him and his partners. And I knew them all. And we had a great time. What do you mean time. there weren't a lot of guys that looked like you? Well, I mean, it's the rag business. And yeah. the rag business has a different. Uh, well, they were all Jews? Is what we were well, saying. that's not what I said. That's what you said. They well, I mean, I'm just saying. They were that's all Jews, course. right? That's not what you I said. You noticed there are no more Jews left in, in, in the Schmata <laughs> business. Do you know that? Where did they go? It's, it's all Indians now. I think it's all, yeah. it's all, it's all, it's all Indians now. Yeah. That's true. So what? did you notice how Lloyd was very clear about the nine minute mark in the show? But when we went live on Facebook, These it was very Lloyd unclear. Did, did you, you notice? I I'm just, I, look, I don't, I'm not trying to like start <laughs> shit with you, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Facebook live was like, was like. Facebook. It was like one of those. And then nine minutes. Right. Nine minutes, everyone. Nine I minutes. Heard Lloyd. I got you, yeah. Lloyd. Yeah, we got I got you. you. Anyway, okay. You're a good man. So, so, there's, so when you said that they don't look like us. There wasn't a lot of people that looked like us in the business. Yeah. And so yeah. the, when the FUBU got, guys did it, yeah. they inspired a generation of people. You know, I, yeah. told, I told Damon that the several times that I was you know, honored to, to talk to him and sit down with him. And um, in spite of all my entrepreneurship came out of that experience, because although that experience wasn't as successful as I hoped it would be, um, it was just working with them and under learning how to sell. Because selling real estate is selling anything, finding out the positives in the yeah. product, and then finding a way to accentuate those those positives. I mean, this see, you got a friend Malcolm on on Facebook and, and Twitter and all that. I mean, like literally. <laughs> This motherfucker's on that. Sh like, I, I mean, him. I wake up, I look, Malcolm. It's like he's like, it. "Hello, Brooklyn," and he spells it like Brooklyn, like right. like in its Dutch ancestry. Right. Oh, nice. Well, I, I I had owned that brand oh, for really? a little while, yeah, because I had I had romanced about uh, starting a Brooklyn brand. I still sort of do. I still hold it close to my heart, 
But um, so I, I own the trademark to that spelling, which you're referring to. B R E U C K E L E N. Yeah. Well, that's how it was originally. That, that's the original oh, spelling. Yeah. I didn't know. That's that. the, back it's in, Dutch. Yeah. So back I in know it's Dutch, yeah. but yeah. You know. And America, just like we did with all the immigrants that came through, we found a way to simplify the name. So that you know, yeah. back in it was sixteen. What is it? Sixteen forty-six, I believe it was, when it was named that. And they just simplified it. Yeah. yeah. So it was my it was my baby, man. Time. We had a great denim brand wrapped around it. Yeah. My wife is a fashion designer, so we were going to do it together. Yeah. And um, but it takes a long time when you're in branding. You realize it takes a long time for brand awareness in the market, yeah. and it takes millions of dollars. Nike spent millions and millions and millions mm -hmm. to have its awareness. I feel like Nike's losing ground right now. It may be, but they had a great run. Yeah. Yeah, you know, oh, great run. Great run. I mean, I'm not crying. For them. <laughs> right, no, they'll be fine. Okay. And, and, and Mr. Knight, he's going to find a way to revigorate the brand. It's a great brand, you know. So, and, so let's, let's, get, let's, not to cut you but let's yeah. get back into real estate. So, yeah. so you, um, so you, you worked in, in the, uh, in the branding business right. on, on the, on the, uh, on the Schmata side. Right. Okay. Which right. is no longer Schmata. Right. Okay, shmata, shmata, and now shmata. you, and then you got into real estate. When did you get into real estate? Well, our third business partner, um, we're yeah. part of a, a group inside of Century Twenty One Milestone Corp, the Invictus Group. Okay, and we're three uh, members of a, a, a fraternities, black fraternities, so historically black fraternities, and the Invictus has a special meaning for us. And um, he, we, he and I worked in another capacity, and he said, "You know what? You're a great salesman. I think you can work." So you went business. to school with, with Ian? Well, I went to school with my partner, my business yeah. partner, Ian, but uh, Victor was, um, he had another business that all of us worked in, all of us creatively worked in. Yeah. And he thought that we'd be great. He said, you guys, you have the gift. You can help me sell this stuff. He said, he said come on through. So Initiate. Victor was in real estate. Well, Victor is the broker. Victor's the oh, boss. Oh, Victor's the boss. He's the boss. He's he the owns boss the of the office. He, yeah, he and John, John Ma. John is uh, another partner. John Ma. And he was another fraternity brother. No, John Ma is, is Victor's John partner. John Ma, M-A? M-A, yeah. John Ma. Asian gentleman, and he is, yeah. he's the godfather. He's the godfather. So we all defer to John. John is the godfather. And he's Victor the is his general. Yeah, he's the, those two are the brokers of record. Got it. And Victor is like, is your boy. And Victor's my boy. And you guys were fraternity brothers. Well, he, Ian and I are fraternity brothers. But Victor is in another historically black fraternity. But we all came yeah. together to create the Invictus group. And what service hang out with, with like black fraternity? No, I hang out with you. Well, I mean, you it had to be black. <laughs> well, you're not a black. Fraternity. Yeah, but I've always felt like not worthy because like <laughs> I was because I because I was in the Jew fraternity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, we love that's the, that's yeah. the No, I wasn't in the Jew fraternity actually. I wasn't. Well, you weren't. I wasn't. Yeah. You know? Did you did you hear about that shit in Pennsylvania? Yeah, the kid that died. That is some fucked up yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. that that shit. Yeah, yeah. Huh? it gives fraternities bad names. It does happen a lot. It happens. No, but you know. Fraternities and sororities are ways for people to, we, it's, our fraternity is about community service. It's about uh, fellowship. It's about, you know, coming together. And our fraternities are for life. You can see, I mean, I'm 25 years out of school yeah. and, and I'm still, still active in it. I'm still, that's, that's what we do. Um, all the other stuff is ancillary and um, sometimes people uh, push it too far and that kind of stuff where somebody dies happen. But that doesn't happen. I mean, it's I just, terrible. It's I, I, I've been watching. I, uh, I watched the Today Show in the morning, and I've yeah, been watching that a lot. And it's like, and it's so I watch, I'm just school. like, I mean, okay, like I hear what you're doing. I know, I know that's what they do, right? They right. they haze and whatever. I get it, right? Mm -hmm. Someone's obviously not well. Like, call the paramedics. Right. Like, God, oh my Jesus. Everybody freaks hours. out, but we didn't, we, that's not right. what happens. With Everybody's us. Hands. We're we're creating brothers, right? We we're creating brothers. We're creating sisters. We're creating mm -hmm. people in the community. You can't hate. Put somebody on the edge of alcohol poisoning and then yeah. call them a brother. So no, we, we don't do that. That's, that's, that's not what we do. What college did you go to? Went to Pratt here in Brooklyn. Oh, so, dude, yeah. I didn't know you went to Pratt. That's yeah, right. I'm a Brooklyn like it's dude, look like at that. Brooklyn brand. That's why that. I use the old Dutch because I'm so old yeah. <laughs> in Brooklyn. Now. You're like I've been here long. <laughs> that's now. right. That's you were there with Jeremy <laughs> Scott. Did you go with Jeremy <laughs> Scott? Is it Jeremy Scott? Were you there when he was there? I don't, oh, Jeremy the 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 the, 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 Peter, the Adidas right? guy. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't recall being there yeah. when he was there. But uh, no, we loved it. I mean, you know, it was a small community. Part of the reason I became part of the Black Fraternity was a small community of us in that school. How many Black Fraternities are there? Pratt one? It was none. Yeah. Our fraternity came from another neighboring school yeah. that yeah. sort of pushed us in our, and so there was none. So we were populating that campus, giving yeah. people an option on the campus. We were part of the Black Student Union, which was really cool. Did a That's lot of stuff. Cool, did a lot of stuff for the community. Like I said, 
the point of all of this is for us is to be to be able to to provide for our community, be able to give back to the community. So it was pretty Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. And Pratt was unbelievable, but especially back then, we had we had a great time. We had a great time. Oh, Pratt's great. Yeah, I, mean, I live a block. So I went as an I was at a, a communication design major there. I was yeah. an art director. It's a great art. And we had yeah, and we had an engineering school at the time and an architectural school. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of our friends were engineers, architects, and artists, and it was just like heaven for me, it was the best place. So how, how did you get into real estate? So how well, my, did, part, how my business happen? partner, uh, Victor, yeah. said, you know, he saw, you know, I did all the packaging. Who was your business money. partner on, in, the, in, the in another business? We sold, um, of all things, wrapping paper. Like, like a wrapping paper for, uh, hmm. for uh, like Christmas and, yeah. But they were ethnic wrapping paper. Yeah. Which is, we don't have those kinds of options in the store. Yeah. So you would oh, go that's a great idea. exactly. So you go to Target, you can get regular Christmas paper, or you can get something more specific, Kwanzaa type Christmas paper. Why would you get out of that business? That sounds well, it, it 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 had its life. It had its lifespan. It was good. We we made a good living at it yeah, uh, while we a, could, and it had its life. Selling wrapping paper. Yeah. Yes, I, I think so. Like Target. Wrapping, it was huge. I just think wrapping paper is like such a waste of money. Well, well I think I think all the gift giving. Yeah. Yeah. I think all the gift giving is Yeah. I think that is such should, a waste of money. Yeah. I think you should focus on what so, the holidays are really about. Dollars. It is. Like, you spend money on cards. You yeah, buy, I like, did for Mother's Day. You buy cards. gifts. Did you get? Did you give your wife? What'd you get? Get your wife for Mother's Day. I got a card. We got a gray bottle of wine. We yeah. took her to you got her wine? took a brunch, yeah. We, got we wine. she and I are wine. Uh, like that was the game. Honey. And you wrapped it? Did you wrapped no, it? No, Malcolm said we it. And then you went out to dinner. And we went to brunch. We, you we went to brunch? kids for brunch. With the kids. Yep. And then we took That's then we cute. went to the movies. We went to see uh, went to what Guardians, did you see? Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, which is oh, awesome. That's nice. That's, That's nice, awesome. Ray. I'm sure Trish, that's exactly what you want to see. I am Groot. It was awesome. I am Groot. That's the one of the characters. He's where'd you what? Where'd you see it? We went downtown. Court Street. Court Street. Court Street. Yeah, That's the, it was Court awesome. The best. Okay. Yeah, Court Street's the best. I, I was it packed? Packed? No, I mean it was crowded, but it was. We got there early. We did. We got the great seats in the center. Eleven o'clock. No, what was it? Probably like three o'clock. Oh, three o'clock. That's yeah. early. Yeah. No, we got no, no. Got to the theater early. Like oh, a three o'clock show, we got there like two o'clock. Oh, okay, yeah. We got there an hour before the like, freaking like movie maybe, started. Yeah, yeah. It's the best seat. It's, it's oh. the best seat. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we were like, we had eaten brunch. Half of us like this. They got That's they got their you. iPads. It was oh. great. <laughs> you, you brought the iPad to the yeah. movie? Yeah. Come on. You got to pacify these kids, man. Yeah. Come on. You got to pacify these kids, man. We're All right. Before look, we're we're at eighteen minutes. So before like we get into like the next segment, okay. Right. I got to give a huge shout out to the pizza right here. Oh my goodness. Do you want some pizza right now? You want a slice? Of course you want a slice. I don't, I don't look real fly. I'm trying to no, look fly. No, that is, that is, that is, uh, this is from Speedy eat? Romeo's. I know it's, the, which is the bomb diggity dizzle. Yes, I mean, Speedy yes. Romeo's, for those of you who don't know, Speedy Romeo's, they have two locations, one, mm. um, in Clinton Hill on, uh, Green and Classen. And uh, the other one's on, I believe, Ludlow Street. Is it Ludlow? I think so. You Ludlow went there in today. Yeah. Ludlow on the Lower East Side. Right. Um, or is it Clinton? Hang on. <laughs> oh, it might be Clinton. I think, I think it's, it's Ludlow. No. Oh, it might be Clinton. I think it's Clinton. All right, look, everybody has the internet. The internet. Just, just search you know. the internet. Yes. But it's, so but it's. Uh, I'm not gonna have because I'm oh. on a very strict diet. I'm on a diet too. What are we doing? I'm on like a very strict diet. I'm, I'm on an off-camera diet, so like I, mean, I don't eat okay. Yeah, my wife might not have sex with me if, <laughs> oh. I, if I gain any more weight. So like I'm, I'm, I'm in danger of losing my sex life. <laughs> that's, and that's that's what keeps me this going is, with the diet. Right, this, you know is great. this is that's great. This is great. Just a thought. A lot of benefits to this show, I think. No, but but this. Is, but this is a Paul's Boutique pizza, which okay. we all know Paul's Boutique is from the BC Boys. Uh, what is that, their first album? Yes. Was yes, it called yes, Paul's yeah. Boutique? That was no, the, first the second album. album. But the first album. I think the first album was called something else, right? What, which which album was you got to fight for your right? Uh, that's Paul's Boutique. I love that. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite. I love but it. that. But this pizza is fight. is unbelievable. I got. Unbelievable, and I want to thank my boy Charlie Eisenstein. Thanks, Charlie. Who I actually met my first job in real estate is how I met Charlie. Which is uh, it is pretty Charlie interesting. Charlie has beautiful eyes. I you, just met oh, him. did you meet Charlie? Did he come <laughs> yeah, out? Oh, that's he came nice. Out. I was sitting yeah. in the car. Yeah. And because I was in a no stand. Oh, that's nice. And and he said, "Oh, I know Jonathan for years. For years. He's a great guy." And um, 
He asked me to please plug just, him away, man. Because Speedy Roman, honestly, Speedy Roman. I mean, all the food we've had on this show, it's honestly, really I'm a huge fan of. Right. We have yet to have anyone. Right. We wouldn't bring I'm anybody like, on the sucks. show to no, do that. Every right. food we have, Speedy Romeo is like you it's, cannot. Their burger is unbelievable. Will you look at this. They yeah. on Wednesday nights they do chicken Mama wings yeah. and the, have you done that they do chicken wings and in, the, in the oven mm. but this pizza is off the chain. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, sorry, I can't believe that. I can't oh, believe no, it's off the chain. And yes, it's please. and it's and it's a it's an everything bagel crust. It, it's gonna everything blow your mind. bagel crust. It's gonna blow your mind. That's crazy. So you're not so you're not I eating any. Two. I can't I can't eat any. Jonathan's I, been on I'm a on diet a very strict diet because he says his wife won't have sex with him anymore. Well, look if if you were gonna lose all your sexual. You know, <laughs> you know my offer. Um, and Charlie you know. says, "What did Charlie, Charlie say? Says, oh, read, read, read it, please." Yeah. Oh, Charlie says, oh, that's every, beautiful. Is that amazing, right? Every amazing. pie, oh, off the chain, right? five dollars huh? of every pie oh. goes to no hungry kid, which wow. is wonderful. Really, they give five dollars to every to every uh, of five dollars from every $5. pizza yes. goes to charity. Five dollars donated for every pizza, pizza sold. sold. Yes, yes. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's, that's amazing. Why that's, wouldn't you want to support that? I love, the, I love businesses like that. that no, no, no. They're they unbelievable. Know. They're unbelievable. Yeah, you realize your, your social Romeo. responsibility. I love it. Really nice people. But I, but I, I mean, it's honestly, amazing. I'm just going to be selfish because like at the end of the day, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> we just, we just want good pizza. And, and like, and like, I don't care where my money goes. I just want good pizza when I want it. And that is unbelievable it pizza. Is. That's and that's great. Katz's pastrami on there yeah. too. I love everything about. It. I'm gonna finish eating it because I'm not, I'm not a big eater on camera. I'm not gonna. No, but don't worry, you will. <laughs> oh, you so will. Don't you touch it? No, because we don't want. <laughs> yeah, <we don't. laughs> so, 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 talk to me about about what you're doing in real estate right now. So you, you we're doing some great you know, things now. We're yeah. um, a lot of uh, we do mostly residential right now, but my yeah. partners and I are getting into more um, more on the investment side. We're doing more commercial properties now. We got like a 16 family that we're trying to move in Crown Heights. 16 um, family. 16, uh, 16, yeah, 16 family. Yeah. Wow. We're doing, um, there's a huge uh, church in um, in Brownsville area, that kind of area over there. Um, that might be sold to a developer that I'm orchestrating. So right now we're doing mostly residential, but we're, we're easing our way into more of the bigger projects. Into more bigger, yeah. bigger, bigger concepts. Love the build. I love the, to be part of the reshaping of the city. I mean, like I said, I've been here my whole life and I remember when no one wanted to live here. Yeah. Like you could have oh. bought the whole city block for, oh. you know, a hundred thousand so dollars. And you know, so we bought our house. We bought our house in, Where? About, in Bushwick for about fifty thousand really? dollars, a two-family frame house. How come you never invited me over for brunch? No, I don't take you over oh. there. No, that's my well, that's my mother's house. I'm wondering how come. Well, yeah, I'm just the wondering. other house because I've just bought another house over here in, in Clinton. Oh, and, 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 see how he's changing the subject. No, no, no. I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. We're in the middle of renovating. I've invited him many times. Right. Oh, we're, we're in the middle of oh, renovating. Many times we've, we've and, gone uh, out. And so we don't have a place that so we can really entertain. But, but That's when, what it is. He doesn't have a place to entertain. That's right. what they all say. That's what but they when, all it's, say. when it's finished, it's going to be great. Oh. I've been, we had a great time with the game last year. We had a great time. Remember that? Was big big, big Mets fist fan. Bump. I'm dying. I'm dying. My we team gotta do that right again. We got to do that again. We should. We got to do that again. I love the Mets. Love, love, love the Mets. It's my favorite team. Oh, really? Love them. They're my favorite team. And I'm People in Brooklyn them. like the Mets, generally speaking. You know, it's weird too because it, yeah. I grew up in Bushwick, which is right on the border, yeah. Queens. Yeah. And yeah. so when I would Shea go visit, stadium. yes, exactly. Yeah, and I right remember there. Shea Stadium. It's closer. It was such a corny looking uh, yeah, stadium, but I loved it. Like oh, they have a whole homage to the Brooklyn yeah. Dodgers at the new at, Shea. right because the Brooklyn That's Dodgers, build, yeah. yeah, Brooklyn Dodgers, wow. that, the Mets ultimately became that replacement team from when Brooklyn yes, was. It was did. all right there. You know, so so I, look, we, we, I'm sorry, not to cut, look, we gotta keep the show crackling. Right, crackling. We, 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 oh. we have a game here and it's, uh -oh. called, uh -oh. it's called Price It Out. <laughs> Price <laughs> It Out. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna go through. You we let me look at we this. go through it. No, that's the whole. That's the whole game. All right, that's the game. We're gonna all right, win. but I'm gonna show it to you now. There's there's two condos, and you gotta you gotta pick which one costs more. Okay. Okay. So here's number one. It's 175 Pacific Street, apartment number three. It's 835 square feet. Okay. That's Crown Heights, right? Um, Crown Heights, I believe. Yeah. Under a thousand square feet. Um, and I mean, no, it's in Cobble Hill. Sorry. Oh, sorry. This is uh, yeah, this is by the uh, Barclay Center, I'm assuming. Okay. And uh, yeah, so take a look. It's got oh. a deck too. Got a deck. Oh. Wow, a little outdoor space. All right. Okay. And it's going head to head against oh, 55 Poplar Street mm -hmm. in Brooklyn Heights, oh. um, apartment 1K. It looks like a first floor unit. 
Um, first floor another is condo. Good. Yeah, first floor is never good. Outdoor space. It does have a garden. Oh. On the first and floor. this is 958 square feet. Oh. Large square footage. Um, right. So, yeah, which one do you think is more? Oof. That's a tough one. That's it is. A, we got, I mean, look, Cobble Hill against Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights. I mean, Brooklyn Heights is, Brooklyn Heights is, is the, wor it is the United States first um, uh, suburb. Is it really? Yeah, Brooklyn Heights is on record as the first the suburb. Duke show. <laughs> no, it was Patty, Patty Duke. Duke it? show it was took place in Brooklyn Heights. Really? That was the early 60s. <laughs> She'll we start bringing in a seat. Did, were you a big Mr. Rogers fan growing yes, of up? Course. I love Mr. Rogers. I love fucking Mr. Rogers. Of course. And it was, when yeah. he died, it really it tore me up. He didn't know. die. He's dead. No. He totally died. Yeah. yeah. No. This was a couple years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Yeah. A while ago. You didn't know this? He's like really young. Can you get really sad young. when you find out someone died like four years ago? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that even sad when you yeah. find out? It is. Died. Doesn't matter. I'm Listen, to I, I think it's not like sports. You need to find that shit out live. Like you know what I mean? Like, yeah, if you no. found out your team lost the World Series five years ago, would you be upset? No, I mean no, because I'm probably watching. I'm in. I'm well, in. That's what I'm saying. I'm so if you found in. out someone died five Why years ago, <laughs> what was that clap? Twenty seven minutes. Time to, time to that was a clap. Oh, that, was a, that was Lloyd just clapped. I, I, I got to do it. He clapped. It was Lloyd like Lloyd is our director. This was his clap. Lloyd's like. Like you couldn't even fucking hear it. Get back. Get back. Okay, so, so let's go. Can I'm, we, I'm, we, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the dice. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Brooklyn Heights. I'm thinking Brooklyn Heights. You thinking Brooklyn Heights? Yeah. I gotta go Brooklyn Heights. God, I like this. This is third floor. But go Cobble Hill, just because we. I'm gonna go Cobble Hill. It's gorgeous. It's third floor. It's a little smaller, but I like Cobble Hill. I think All right, I, I hear you because it is, it is the first floor. Brooklyn Heights is also an older neighborhood, and it's not a lot of movement. You know, I just think that. All right, Pacific. All right, I'm making the mask, but I'm just gonna throw it down. <laughs> what we got? So Pacific Street's one one. I don't think this uh, the Brooklyn Heights is nine ninety five. Yeah, there it is. It is. I, listen, it I is. have a pulse. I have a pulse yeah. with the customer. Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. All right, so let's go number two. We got one seventy four Vanderbilt. Oh, I love Vanderbilt. That's Clinton Hill. Um, that's Fort Green. This one. Oh, Fort Green. Okay. Uh, it's a condo, one bed, one bath. One bed, one bath. And then we got a Clinton Hill apartment oh, here, one eleven Steuben, um, apartment five E. I mean, I'm gonna go with Vanderbilt. In, it's got to be Vanderbilt. It's got to be. What's the size of that one? This one's eight oh six. How big is that one? This is seven fifty. So they're virtually the same I'm size. Still one. gonna go with the four with the Vanderbilt. Yeah, I'm going with the. Look at this. Got the run. No, right, that's I'm what we're go doing. With I'll go with the... Just go with me and eat your pizza. <laughs> 865 on the Vanderbilt one. What do you got over there? And we have... Wow. Can you rip it up? Yep, 735. There you go. Yeah, yeah it wasn't even close. <laughs> wasn't Who, picked Who picked no. these? Who picked them? It was Lloyd. Lloyd, 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 I think Lloyd... Lloyd, Lloyd we can't we can, we can blame. Lloyd does a great job of picking them out. <laughs> we can't. Look, it can't be Christmas every day, Lloyd. It can't be Christmas every day. Okay, so now let's go to... 60 Tiffany in the Columbia Street waterfront. Oh, I love We've that area. We've got a condo, two bed, two bath. Oh, that's um, on the second uh -oh. floor. Second floor, wish it was higher. Uh, it's got a balcony. Balcony, okay. And then we got a Crown Heights. Crown Heights, uh, that's interesting. 583 Franklin, 1,468 square feet, wow. two bed, two bath. Um, wow, 1,468 square feet, how big is that one? This one is. I don't see the square foot. No, no, no. Well, this is apartment number one. Hmm. This Private is apartment number garden. two. So that's on the ground? This is on the ground yeah. floor. How big is that one? Doesn't say. It doesn't, uh, doesn't say. Well, that, well, it's hard to really guess with that. Well, I mean, you, it's, it's I'm going to go with the Crown Heights, though, just by the pictures. I'm going to go with the pictures. This is waterfront. The waterfront. I mean, that's... Yeah, this, this one looks gorgeous. tight. This one it looks does. small. It does. It does look small. Looks small. It does look small. But I'm going to go with it just because. Are you going to go with yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to go with the waterfront. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna to be different. I'll go to Crown Heights. You go to Crown Heights. This one, is one five one three. Look at that! I got it. I win. I win, <laughs> yeah. and you lose. You, yeah. I yeah. guess that that's how you, that's how it works. That's how we're trying to keep me comfortable. Yeah, right. But if if we were millennials, we'd all win. We'd all win. We'd all win. We all win. Everybody gets a. We all win. Everybody gets a medal. Everybody gets a trophy. Everybody gets a trophy. Everybody gets a trophy. There's yeah. no win. You get a we're trophy. all a bunch of winners here. We're all a bunch of winners here. <laughs> Dude, great show, man. Oh, man thank you, thank awesome. you for coming. I mean, I, you awesome. know, I think, I think. And where can we find you online? Do we? Yeah, well, yeah. Where do we find you online? Listen, man, you can find me at uh, on Instagram. 
Instagram. On Facebook. What's your Instagram and handle? Instagram is MX1, at MX1. Yes. You got MX1? Yeah. Look at you. you were the, what was that? Day three? <laughs> Day three. Day three of Instagram. This motherfucker's like, yo, I'm not fucking this <laughs> shit. MX1. MX1. Boom. One, baby. And I'm on uh, Facebook, which I, I love. I still love Facebook. It's the old. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm M -M Lewis. Malcolm Adams. Well, Malcolm L. Adams. Malcolm, Malcolm L. Adams. Adams. But if you do Malcolm Lewis Adams, you search, you'll find me everywhere. You know what I love about you? You're always happy in a good mood. And you're, it's a pleasure to fucking have you. Pleasure I love you. Pleasure to be here. I love this guy. Pleasure. Pleasure. Look at this guy. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, oh God. Don't, don't do that, guys. Oh, oh, guys. I want to thank uh, Malcolm, Malcolm for coming on the show. Great. Malcolm's thank awesome. He does smell he good tonight. He smells as thank good you. as he looks. Smells thank you. really, really. Thank he smells you. even better than he looks at tonight. Well, really, that's true. Really, really quality. It's subtle. Quality I know. I odor. Like the subtle smell. I appreciate that. I just, you I just, you know what? It. I think you shouldn't you smell. Have to lean in. You know what I mean? Is, is there any, like, just no. don't smell. No, right? no. You smell pretty good, too. I'm I just, sorry, well, I just, you know. Malcolm just touched my boob. I did not do that. Oh, my God. That's so gross. I love so gross. Trish, watch out over here. Um, thank you to Speedy Romeo for, Speedy for the Romeo. pizza, Charlie. Yeah, appreciate I love it. you. Dude, you're awesome. You're the man. Thank you, Yeah, so the much. pizza's awesome. Thank uh, you, guys, we'll see you next week. I don't Century remember. Who do we have next week? Century do we have anyone famous miles. coming on next week? Yeah. No one famous? I don't know yet. But guys, peace. Have a thank wonderful you, week. And uh, we'll see you later. Take care, guys. We're out. Take care, guys. We're out.